Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this quick video, we're going to look at two new geometry nodes that have been added to Blender 3.0. The first one is the Select by Material node. You'll find it under the Add Node Material menu, Select by Material. Here I've got a Suzanne head, and I've applied two materials to it, one to the eyes and one to the rest of the head. Now, if I place this Select by Material node on this path, and give it a selection name, let's call it Output, you'll see that it's added a face attribute called Output. Of course, nothing is in it right now, but if we select one of our materials, we'll see that the faces that have that material now have that output marked as true. We could use this in conjunction with something like a Delete Geometry node and choose the selection Output. You could also use this to drive something like Shade Smooth. So now any face with material 001 would be shaded smooth. The second new node we want to look at is the Convex Hull node. You'll find it under the Add Geometry menu. The Convex Hull node runs the Convex Hull operator. It makes sure that none of the parts of your mesh bend inwards, only outwards. Here, let's take a look at what it does. So now every extremity point is now connected by straight lines, and so no part of this mesh goes inward it's all convex. Here's one quick use for convex hull that I thought of. If we add a join geometry node, and then route both our object and the convex hull into it, and then use the convex hull geometry to distribute points, the points will all be on the outside of the object and won't follow the concavity of the original shape. We could also add a geometry transform node after the convex hull, and increase its scale. Anyhow, I hope this gives you some ideas, and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. Keep on the lookout for new features coming to Blender 3.0. If you're enjoying the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll catch you next time.